I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. Yeah, I got colors, I got heels. I feel like Jizzy, I got views. I use them, baby, like a mules. Play them like the ones and two. Welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that from, I guess, but I mean it once again today. It's Mr. Tim Dillon. Tim, hey, baby. Humidity makes your nasal tract and your throat. I'm a virologist. Yeah, you Humidity, are. Humidity, you know, and this is thing people don't know. I have a doctor in biochemical engineering. You have two doctors, two right? Two doctors. I have biochemical yeah. engineering. I have virology. I'm an epidemiologist. And I know a lot of things. And oddly enough, And oddly also, enough, I do stand-up. Stand-up, But yeah. I, am a do- I am a doctor. <laughs> 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 they bear- barely work. Yeah, well, so. they don't have enough strength to work if they're over the Ooh, counter. Correct. And then, but what they do is they fuck your immune system up. They, they yeah. you know- they 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 delay the amount of time that your 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 body's natural responses takes. You, your your cold takes a longer time. Even right. It's not as painful. It's longer. Right. You know, I'm an immunologist. I've worked with the immune system for many years. For 13 years. 13 you 13 years I've been doing immunology, and a lot of people come to me, and and I becoming being a medical professional yes. and a scientist. Yeah. Has helped me so much right now. Now, when you opened your lab here in Southern California to test your own your own immunology experiments, have you found that uh, you you might have a better keen sense of how to fix this thing? I have an idea of, I, I listen, my practice is Western medicine, but I understand yeah. holistic health. I you understand do, you do dabble in Eastern medicine. You, that's the difference between me and a lot of people mm-hmm. is that I know traditional medicine, but I understand the body. And that's what, that's what I bring to the table like a lot of people don't. That's why I, I treat my body like a temple. I, uh, and I, and I have come out and said some controversial things that people don't want to hear. A lot of it. A lot, of, like exercise will kill you. You also say, pr- you, you also say double vax. There, there's anti-vaxxers and, and you're a double vaxxer, uh, which means get it twice. I've, I, I've said, I've, I've said there should be a heroin vaccination. Right. Where everyone should take a full needle. Intravenous too. Of heroin. But you've, but you've yeah. been, co- but the, the controversy then some out, people just keep throwing up and they're right. like, fuck it. And some people are like, who? I'm but, in. The, but the article that came out of Newsweek that yeah. you got a lot of heat for was because yeah. you said that we should all share the the one needle for. There should be only three needles. I said that. I right. said everyone should. You know, there should be a needle for the wealthy that they should share. Right. Middle class and then poor. And then the poor. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But you also know the controversy in Newsweek said that the poor needle would be shared by exponentially more people. And your response to that was, "Fuck it, fuck it." Yeah. yeah. And 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 what's That's interesting what about yeah. that is that uh, death has to be embraced as a part of science. Uh, yeah, right. I, I, I believe in death. <laughs> People want to believe in some positive, hopeful thing. And the reality is the only, the only positive, hopeful thing is like, it's you. This is what people don't get. Yeah. It's nothing. It's, it's nothing. We're here for an indefinite period of time. The only thing that you can to depend on is get smarter, get better at things, make yourself into something. Everything else doesn't matter. It's all fake. Right. Politics is fake. Right. People get mad at me when I say that. It doesn't exist. It's you watch it. You're like, no, no, no. Oh, no, to below. It's fake. It's not real, <laughs> yeah. dummy. Yeah, it's all it made up. It doesn't exist. Did you, have you ever seen Nancy Pelosi? Nancy Pelosi is Robin Wright Penn to you. <laughs> never seen her yeah. it's nothing to do with your life trump does, if you went outside of one of trump's resorts any of these fat people from ohio that think he cares about you if you were anywhere near his resort he'd have guys with guns move you off the property yeah, they kill you right away he doesn't care about you obama didn't care about you grow the fuck up i barely care about my cousin i saw my cousin on a new york city subway i went to the other car I said, I don't want to talk to this guy. No. How you doing? Your mom's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shut a thing with a foot. Is that better? No one gives a shit. You care yeah. about so few people. And this idea, like politics is a very, it's like a ridiculous, somewhat womanly pursuit. Like it's almost like, and I don't mean womanly in a gendered negative way. I mean womanly in the sense of like, it's Star Magazine. It's like, what's Chris Pratt doing? It's the same shit. Right. None of it truly matters the 90 lizards that own this country don't give a fuck who wins the presidential elect right they barely care i, I mean it is what it is so yeah. go to the beach go swimming get your dick wet take whatever drug you think you have can fun. handle eat something good have fun it's you like the only hope is you is you realizing like i can't believe i'm even here yeah i can't believe i'm even here because when it's over it's over, it's over. It's over. And you go, I can't believe I'm even here. Everything's at night. Every time I get in a car and drive down the street, I could get fucking killed. Yeah. And it's through no fault of my own. 
I could just, somebody could rear end you. How many times do you drive late at night in LA to an intersection? You go, is this the night? All the time. Because it's so quiet, yeah. like late at night, you go, is this the T-bone night? I've had, a, I've had a couple of moments where I go through, like, I, have you ever had that where you drive a long time and you doze off a little bit? And yeah. You wake up and you're like, that could have been it. That would have been it. It would have been it. Seconds. Dude, so the only hope is not, is internal. You. It's like you, 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 you got to say to yourself, fuck, I want to learn a language or I want to lose weight or I want to be this or I want to master an instrument. Just figure out a way to spend your fucking time. If you want to spend your time on Reddit, uh, 4chan, inventing <laughs> ideas that, that Donald Trump, if you if that's a community that you need to be a part of, I don't judge you. Yeah. I'm not the Q people are people that got red pilled. Like they figured out that the world was fucked overnight and it melted their minds. Yeah. They're like, wait a minute, politicians are fucking kids and they're lying and they're stealing and they're killing. Yeah. Go yeah. read about Rome. It's the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, they fuck whatever they want. They kill you if you talk. Right. Now, yeah, stop it. But you're not stop writing a little thread isn't changing the world. If you want to change the world, do, I don't know, form a militia. I've always wanted to be in a relationship with somebody that was dying. Like yeah. a great summer relationship yes. with someone who was dying. Yes. And then you learn so much about life. And then yeah. September, you focus on your career. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> you go through like a whole Dude, cycle yes. with it. Just a beautiful. I got to tell you something. Yeah. I might actually be into having an affair with a dying woman. Yeah, hello. You know what I mean? No, no. I'm coming back. I'm coming yeah. back home. Thanks. But I'm saying just for a little while, I just, you know, there's it's a fling. It's She's about to die but they're not going to be as hot as when they're totally healthy well right? i'm going to start it about... like at the beginning yeah. of the end so like she's yeah. kind of holding it together there's something beautiful about the idea of making a connection with someone and then having them taken from you yeah by yeah. a force that's not you know you it's can't poetic control. it is yeah. poetic. It's truly beautiful yeah, yeah. truly you yeah. guys are really sick. Well, I mean, it's yeah. just there's something nice about it. That's why all these movies. Yeah. I hate those movies. I cannot oh, I wait. love if, them. If the premise is, and she has cancer, or and their time. It's I'm my like, favorite movie. I'm out. I'm gone. <laughs> as soon as there's, as soon as Meryl <laughs> Streep is eating soup, <laughs> no. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, With the, he the yeah. head kerchief. Oh, I just want to see people die. And then yeah. I'm like, yeah, because uh, life, life does matter. Dude. Yeah. Uh, I came from a mother who would just start with no. <laughs> like she would start negatively and be like, here's what I won't do. Like, I swear to God, she'd go to a restaurant and go, I'll tell you what I won't have. Uh, she's that, she was just that type of negative, yeah. bitter, resentful uh, creature put on earth to make everyone's yeah. life horrible. Is she and to miserable? make you funny. She, well, she's, she's, she's a schizophrenic now, so she's oh, kind of not yeah. as miserable as she should be uh, because her <laughs> brain has evolved into mm -hmm. like, you know, but she, I, I grew up under her. So like, I'm like, oh, you just say no. You just complain. Yeah. Like I always complain. Yeah. Like when it not 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 in like a, a a mean way, but if something's wrong, I'm like, hey, no good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No good. This are you good though? At, at are you good at um? You know, like you just moved to L.A. a little while yeah. ago, so you know, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, hey man, well you want you want to do my show? And let's say a show you don't want to do. Are you a, are you comfortable with like nope? Like oh uh, yeah, I go oh I'm not gonna do that. Oh you just tell it. <laughs> yeah, that's in a dog park in Echo Park. I'm so, not gonna do that. And you're good at that. I will do that. Yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, I, I yeah, I will do. I will let a. I will to a fall. Yeah. Be honest like that. And tell people that you won't do their podcast. To a fall. Yeah. Like, well, you know. no. See, like sometimes, like Doctor Drew, <laughs> uh -huh. I lied and I said that because I totally forgot. Oh, I, I was supposed I to do Doctor Drew. I totally forgot. And then you wait. And this... I wanted to do Doctor Drew. I totally forgot. Right. So I'm in the Trump. A Palos Verdes golf thing because I went to the beach with friends and they were in this dumb Trump thing mm -hmm. and I get a message like and it's it's the your guy Nadav going like hey are you finding parking okay and I was like on the toilet in the Trump hotel and I was oh. like oh no what would Trump do think like Trump <laughs> think like Trump so I wrote back hey man I think I was like my mother is dying or something. I was like hey my mom's really sick and I had to go back to Long <laughs> Island you know <laughs> Which anyone who knows me, even if she was, I would not have gone. Yeah. So I would have, I would have done Doctor Drew. My mother has no followers, nothing, <laughs> and I, I, no social media. So I, I sent it to him, and then I realized I like five minutes earlier, and then I sent it, and I'm like, I'm gonna be okay. And then I realized five minutes earlier, there's a photo of me on the beach. Oh shit! In in like uh, uh, Redondo Beach or wherever. Oh yes. And so then I was like, oh, I'm probably I'm banned from your mom's yes, house. I remember. No, and then God. you said yeah. though, because you said like once you 
you put the lie out Once there. Once you put it out then there. Then you got to just lay, you got to be deep in the you lie. You got to yeah. go deep in the lie. You yeah. got to try. And I lie because I care. This yeah. is what people don't realize. Right. If I didn't care, I would say, hey, dude, I forgot. Who cares? Right. I lie because I cared and I respect like Drew's a real deal, dude. <laughs> and like, I should have done the show. So me using my mother, it's like, hello. Like I'm using That's my respect. mother's health yeah. as a way to justify not being at this thing. Yeah, yes. it's brilliant. You know what I mean? Will you do Drew now? Yeah, I yeah. mean, I don't know if I'll be back. I don't know. He's he probably will. not happy. I think he's about this. Oh, he will. But this, he needs to understand. We're comedians. That, we're all shitbags. And it's, I'm a liar. I mean, I don't yeah. want to put that on being a comedian. But yeah. like, you yeah. know, I'm a comedian. I can't tell the truth. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so I mean, sometimes I do lie. Uh, Drew <laughs> thought you were a drug addict. <laughs> yeah, he thought I was like on drugs or something. But, but that's his world. So but, then for him, he's like, oh, there's lying. There's yeah, drug addicts. He's, yeah. I'm probably being a drug addict. That's yeah. what I should have said. I should have oh, said I had a massive relapse. We almost always introduce our guests at the top but we oh, are yeah, so deep no no we're so deep to... and into uh this yeah. conversation naturally yeah, but I... the great tim Dillon is yeah, here thank you very much uh, recently moved here from new how long ago you moved from new york i'm about a year in you're a year I'm in a already year in la already but i was coming out here a lot before i officially moved Damn. to lay the groundwork to lay the lies <laughs> to lay the groundwork <laughs> how are these lies going and deceit do you yeah, but how do you meet dudes? Where the dudes um, at? Just on the internet. Oh right, there's yeah. like, like grinder. Be the yeah, best, the dude. internet is kind of easy. You don't really have to go out to a bar, and you so know. Great. And also, West Hollywood's like the type of gay, like where it's like I'm, I'm gay. West Hollywood's insane gay. Like it's like really a level, it's too much. Well, it's just there's people riding like horses. It's like that scene in The Wizard of Oz where they're riding like the multicolored, like that's a yeah. horse of a different color. It's like there's dudes riding purple horses down the street. It's like I don't know what this. Is. L.A. gay is like trans. They're like a, right. it's like in the next level. Yeah. And LA trans is like the next whatever that is. Like right. they're disabled. They're like kneecapping themselves. <laughs> it's always the next thing here. Like so it's just true. it really is. It's a lot. You I know? bet because you're you you said you lie out of respect. You lie out yes. of. I bet your online game is tight, dude. Well, like, it's it lies. Yeah, but I'm yeah. saying, it's how good, good are your dating lies? I ma I make everything up. <laughs> <laughs> I, ma I make everything up. So give me walk me through. Most like, people on the sites think I'm Amy Schumer. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's my no. I mean. I just, I, I think it's hard to make stuff up now because people cut you. Know, I'm, I'm somewhat public. People can kind of look me up. Yeah. But, you know, these people don't know. You know, they think I'm doing great. I'm doing really good, but, like, they don't know. So, wait, are you on, like, Raya or are you on? I am, but that one sucks. Why does, does it? Suck? I heard it's fun. I heard it just suck. Tommy I mean, Lee met Brittany Furlon on, on Raya. Maybe well, for gay dudes. I don't know. It's, it's just not that great. It's people. It's supposed to be like the celebrity app. But are you yeah, always okay, do you go between being like I want to meet someone yeah. to date or are you always are you basically no, like, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm always just like what just to, to meet somebody maybe hang out with it's cool. Yeah, okay. But, you know, sometimes if you meet somebody to date, that's cool too, but I'm not look, I don't You're not looking for it. Not at this moment. Okay, I got you. I got you. You know. And it's your full lies on there. Well, I'm I'm <laughs> embellishments, yeah. distortion, you know, yeah. like what else? Like, like what? Well, just just the idea of like, you know, I'll tell people I've been to countries I haven't been to. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I'll start talking about Japan. I've never been to Japan. Like I'll talk. I'll be. That's I'll be like hilarious. the best sushi's. No offense is in Japan. And the guy's like, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "No offense, but I date like younger guys in their twenties or whatever, and they're like, they don't know anything." And so I'm like, "Oh yeah, oh that sushi's good, but it's probably better in Osaka." Well, I don't when know. I was in Osaka, I like, yeah, I had this, I just, but yeah. I like he's like, this, "No offense." This uh, tutoro yeah. that was too <laughs> yeah. die for. I tell them no offense because I'm like, you're probably not living that kind of life. <laughs> That's okay, but. The best sushi is in Japan, <laughs> and you know things like that. So and I'll they're just, like, I would love to travel. With yeah, you I guys. make up yeah. geography. Yeah. Like I just make up things that I, you know. I love it. I respect it so. Yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> nothing crazy. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you should. That, yeah, I, I you love gotta, that. You gotta lie. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, for you sure. You do. I mean, the 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 country is run by liars. The most successful people in America are liars. Yeah. Um. Everyone you see on a billboard is probably a liar. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's I saw I shit. saw SARS when I was in uh, Japan volunteering with the Peace Corps. <laughs> <laughs> I was the kind of the first mm -hmm. dude. I was one of the first people on the ground there, and just seeing that has really just shaped the way that I think. Yeah. <laughs> OMG, you've done so much with your life. <laughs> well, no, the best one is when they go, you sound like you have a really wild life. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah of course. You got to play it cool. When yeah, someone's yeah, like, of course. When someone's oh, like, right. you're doing crazy. all this crazy stuff. I'm like, whatever, man. Yeah. I'm sure your life is crazy too. You do cool stuff too, right? Where do you go? University of Kansas? <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs>
You know, it is Dude, what it is. College. They're like, my, my dad's a Christian minister. I'm like, I hate gays. This is great. <laughs> We're in. So it's a real, you know. How is that? How are those that. college guys? Well, you know, they they need to be lied to. Yeah, for sure. No, I mean it's just. Oh my God! If I was, if I was, there's a lot of gay dudes that don't want to come out now because the gay, the gay thing's gotten too crazy. Really? It's just too much now because it's like it used to be like, oh, you're just gay. Now it's like men and women don't exist. You know, yeah, like right. everything. <laughs> like, and you're like, wait, no, I don't. Hold on, it's like you know you that toddler should transition. You're like, maybe not. I a don't. toddler should um, know. Which gender it identifies with immediately. Yeah. yeah. And, and then. So, like, there's people that I talk to that are like, I don't want to be a political. Like, I don't want to just my whole life to be politics and yeah. craziness. I understand that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I never really considered it that now it used to be like, oh my God, coming out would be this, uh, you know, am I going to be shunned or shamed? Yeah. Or, and then now you're like, oh, this world has become just bananas. It's just bananas. And there's a lot of guys that want to, like, there's a lot of guys that want to come out of the closet and like still be a racist, you know, yeah. like, and still, you know, and I, I, I get it, you know, they're like, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be intersectional. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, I hate Koreans and yeah. I just want to be openly gay and hate Koreans. So it's like, and it's tough to why do is, now. Why yeah. is that a problem? Right. You know? Yeah. Right. So and that's who I'm for. Right. You know, <laughs> I'm for the anti-intersectional. Everybody has their own interest. Fight it out. Dude, Both miss those days are. when you could just, you know, yeah. see a girl with a nice ass and just be like, get Oh, right, nice and just ass, rape no. the shit out of her. Like, <laughs> hey, get over here. No? Wait a minute. I was going to go for a oh. comment. Or use what, your power. What decade was that? Yeah. How far are we going back? I mean, this is, we're going what? back hundreds of years. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about the 1400s yeah, or the middle, uh, the middle ages? Harvey Weinstein? Uh, no, no, no. He raped. He just I know, but I said, trees. you know, when you saw a girl with a nice ass, I was gonna kind of yeah. just kind of be like, make a comment. Oh, you know, sure, sure, sure. A nice sure, little sure, peach sure. on the backside. Right. No, I got you. Sorry. You, you went. Yeah. Josh so is willing to. He's willing to have a. He said if he could do a sex scene with a woman and he gets to pick the woman, I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And then we worked out that at the end. 10 guys yeah. come in the room and come on his shoulders. <laughs> yeah, I mean, jo yeah, I could see Josh going for that. <laughs> you could? Yeah, I've met Josh, so I think that Josh would be fine. <laughs> yeah, Josh would be fine. And after that, by the way, Josh would look at the director and be like, are we good? Is this good? <laughs> this is the director like, right he here. Wouldn't even be, he wouldn't even be that angry. He'd be like, this is good or should we? Should we is this okay? Is it I live on a block with three TikTok kids. They could buy and sell me. Okay, I don't even TikTok. look at them directly in the eyes. I know my place. Wait you a know? minute. You say you live by three TikTokers, like famous talkers. Yeah, they're Which pretty. Which ones? Because I, I think. Wait, I think, I think I might. Is this? Is she, is she one? Guys, this will be my last video for a while, cause I do not know how to make a PayPal, and there ain't a son of a bitch in this family's gonna have the bucks it's gonna take to bond me out, cause I might kill Cheryl today. That's right. Look at my fucking eye. Swole it plumb up there to that fucking scar where she stabbed me with a screwdriver. The last fight she started with me. Yeah, I was over at mama's last night just visiting, and Cheryl jumped over the kitchen counter at me, flying like Hussein Bolt in a fighting suit. I don't know why the bitch has always been jealous of me. So I, she run to the phone like the bitch made. Cunt always does, and I said, you better call ever law in Sequoia County this time, bitch, because you're going to need help prizing my fingers from around your fucking dick-sucking throat. So I ended up arrested in jail, but I'm out this morning, Cheryl, and I can still see that's right. You did swell it shut, bitch. And I'm coming over here today, and I'm going to do the two-step in the cowboy boogie till there's a mud hole in your fucking ass for me and mama to stomp dance fucking dry. And the only phone call I need to be made is up to Agent Smaller Martin Funeral Home in Salas. I'll let them know they'll be wiping your fucking ass in the morning. I take it back. A coronavirus will do nothing to this country. <laughs> I think we're pretty immune. Right? I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's why also, comedy's dead. It's like who, nothing can compete with that. Nothing can, no. Also, the, yeah. just a, the uh, words per minute alone yeah. is really impressive. And quite good. She could have yeah. been an auctioneer. Yeah. Right. Like there, she could have been a nailed lot it. of stuff. Yeah. She actually pronounced, you know, and are those? I think those are dentures because those teeth look too mm. good to be in her head. Her face. Yeah. yeah, I think she's lost probably some of her natural teeth. Right. Just living living wrong. Right, I'm saying, but I, I think those are those are dentures, yeah. She seems like a wild woman. Oh, that's good talk. Whoa. What do y'all think? That was his talent. That was his, t that was his that TikTok. That was his skill. You see the way he was laying flat? Yeah. He just jumped. Were you impressed? 
I got to be honest, that didn't do it for me. No. <laughs> what? Let's let's pretend the first really? woman was a lot better. Let's yeah. pretend that this guy yeah. was somebody you just met. Yeah. And he and he was like, "Check this out." Yeah. And he sent you that video. What yeah. do you respond back with? I I tell him to keep working. <laughs> I'm like, "Listen, like you need to just put some other elements in there." <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, he's like, "What do you think?" And yeah. he had it in the caption. He was, it was like, "Do I look really like Spider-Man proud of or himself. not?" Yeah, and you can see it in his face. He's like, "Yeah, I just did some shit, bro." Been working on that. I hooked up with a drummer once, and then they sent me this guy sent me a video of him drumming, and it's the worst. It's like a, it sounds like a, <laughs> a like a kid playing with yeah. pots do, and pans. And it's like, yeah. so it's like you, it, a lot of times you have to just tell people like, "Yeah, that great man." You told him great. Keep going. Yeah, I was yeah. like, "Oh, that's awesome." Lied. I love sounds. <laughs> Keep going because they think you, you're in a creative. Thing. They're like, I'm creative too. You're like, oh, good. Yeah, you guys are the same. So, Did would you, you ever... bang this guy? Like, could you? I see mean, he's a song? child, so I'm gonna say no. <laughs> <laughs> gonna say oh, is no. he a child? Let's is say this what the whole show is? Like, Chris Hansen just runs out from the back. This is literally the whole show. Wait, it's wait, been wait. hours <laughs> building rapport with me. So then I go, oh yeah, fuck that guy TikTok, and they're like, at ah, 16, and I go to jail. That's the no, whole show. No, that's what your mom's house has become. Tim, do you like this kid? <laughs> yeah. So would you bang that child? It's like no. No, well, no hold I on, wouldn't. Hold on, hear me out. I wouldn't even message. We him. know hear how you guys out. are. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Hear me out. Maybe he wants it. It's let, like no, no, no. But hear me out. He's let's say he's like 20. No, no, you can't. You, he's, I mean, he's, <laughs> no, he's not 28. He's not. Uh, he's not 28. <laughs> you can't but, be like, so pretend he's older. Because if he's okay. 28, he's okay. retarded. Hold like on. That's also bad. <laughs> then, then he's, develo he's developmentally okay. disabled. Okay. That's another problem. Well, we play a game oh, called shit. Deal Breakers here. So let's yeah. say this guy, you're talking to him, and he's brilliant. Yeah, he's one. And he knows everything that you want him to know. He's rad. And he takes you back to his apartment. He's an adult. Okay, he's an adult. Okay. And he's like, hot. He's hot hot he's the guy you want but he does and he lays down and he goes <laughs> a totally different situation it different is guy. a different situation yeah. different guy. It's yeah. a, it is okay. this is a deal breaker okay. oh, this okay. is a real fu fun okay. level no. of entrapment for to catch a this predator. is different so this You're is like what if he was an adult no this is this is okay it, it's a deal breaker question so he's the man of your dreams this guy okay you go back to his place and he goes i have something so cool to show you <laughs> and you're like all right so. And then he does this. So, yeah, this was yeah. a different guy. A different guy. It's not a minor. Okay, let's say. Yeah, I mean, listen. It's the guy a, of your but dreams. But see, if a really good looking guy did that, you'd be like, oh, he's funny. Yeah, right. That's a fun thing to do. That's good the looking difference. people get away. They good get looking away people with, get away with rape. With you, nonsense. A good looking guy will rape you. You'll wake up, you're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's so call true. you, text your girlfriend, you'll because be like, he's so fun. A beautiful it's woman so random. does that, and you're like, no shit. How do you fucking do that? You yeah. start acting like it's cool. But it's like, yeah. yeah. It's he's like no longer retarded. Now he's hot. It's like that Mark Norman joke. He goes, if a, if, a, if a woman goes home with a man and he's got a Nazi flag, he's like, I got to get, the woman goes, I got to get out of there. If a man goes home with a woman with a Nazi flag, he goes, I got to fuck her and get out of here. <laughs> yeah, so it's yeah. like one of those. Gotcha. Things. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's why I was. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Just wanted to get on here to tell y'all that I think I'm leaving TikTok. <gasps> no. no. I've enjoyed all the friendships. And Thanks for turning the volume up. <laughs> background. Some dramas going on. That I no. Really? Totally. Really? Cool I didn't videos. even know you were allowed to be on. I don't even have one. I didn't know you were allowed to be on it if you were over 19. <laughs> Like I had no idea that there were sixty-year-olds leaving TikTok. Oh, there are. <laughs> they like make, emotionally making an announcement. You're like emotionally going. I have made a lot of friendships here. It's like that's illegal. <laughs> what? That's that's against the law. <laughs> what do you mean you've made a lot of friendships here? Right. What are you talking about? I mean, we had yeah. been day drinking when in Florida visiting yeah. my family, <laughs> and we saw these little kid, like fifth graders, yeah, um, <laughs> by the pool in this place, and uh, we walked in on them, and they were choreographed. We we're like, what are you doing? And we've been drinking. Right. And they're like, oh, and they're in their school uniforms. They're like, we're right. making a TikTok. And we both were like, we're on TikTok. And and uh, they were like, oh, okay. These are like 10, 11-year-old yeah, girls. And they think they're going to get kidnapped. And then they're like, what's your handle? And I was like, I've spelled it out for them. And then as we walked out, I realized that the last one I had posted <laughs> was me pulling my nipples and going like, uh, uh like that. <laughs> but I was like, oh, we got to go. We got to go. We got to get out of here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's one of those things, man. It's like old people have Facebook. That's yeah. where you go. Yeah. yeah, That's where you go to scream yeah. into the void, talk about your knee operation. <laughs> yes. Talk about Donald Trump. <laughs> talk about dead animals. Talk scream about. Scream into the void. I yeah. mean, that's Anchor. what it, it is. is. That's what you're there. That's what it's for. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I forget I have a uterus. We've seen and because of that, sometimes I forget to take my testosterone. And when I forget to take my testosterone, I go take a poo poop and there's blood. And I'm like, oh, no, but it's, it's just a period. 
Yeah, see, this is what I mean about things getting a little out of control. Right. This is a little out of hand. Yeah. I don't know that I signed up for this. This is a, a little I didn't much. really sign up for this. This is a lot. This is a lot. This is not even about sexuality anymore. This has gone down another rabbit hole. And I don't know what it is, but it's something's off. If you are on. There's 2000 gender. I mean, you well, know, I love your. Thing. Dude, with that Asheville gender thing. Oh, yeah. It's made me cry. Thank you. We watch it. I watch it over and over. I Which show one? people. When I came out as astral gender <laughs> on a morning show. It's, oh, Because right. those, we all have to do this morning, you know, those yeah, morning. And it's so like. Painful. That the is best the, is, uh, it's the best. It's the best. It's not in that video. I don't think that when I. Well, first of all, you can see one point when I say something and she goes. Like yes. it, it shakes, yes. it sh makes her shiver. And yeah. then I got to get in the car with the club manager that day. Right. And it was an immediate phone call immediately yeah. from that lady. And she was like, I don't know what is up with that guy, but that was weird. And yeah. we did not like it. Like yeah. I got to hear her tell her like, well, dude, you, you go to these morning radio, uh, morning radio, morning TV things. And it's like kind of hilarious. You're like, this still happens. Uh, I know it's crazy. And you know, it's dumb. not moving tickets like, for the weekend. Good morning, Dayton. It's like, yeah. whoa, yeah. who's watching that and Who, going to your show? Just at meth night. heads that are still tweaking from the night before. Nobody's you know? watching. They convince show. you, they lie to you that it's a, it, this is for you. And right. then you find out that this is for them. Right. Of course. This is about their relationship. Yeah. Nobody watching that's coming to the show. Nobody, Nobody cares. Nobody. Not a person. Yeah. But back to this. Yeah. This is officially like I'm old because I'm not with this at all. Like there's so much shit going on yeah. that I don't understand. Well, what like, is it? I know, what, I know what, what, what are saying. you confused by? She, if she doesn't <laughs> take her testosterone, then she poops but, and there's but, blood. But this isn't like, you know, when you're <laughs> a younger person and you're like, oh yeah, I get like that's. We have this kid at my school who's like this. <laughs> right. And then you're like, oh, this is just this thing. Those this glasses, is... by the way, are usually on TikTok people, you know? like <laughs> The Dahmers? Yeah. The, well, you those, know what are, it is, man? those are the Dahmers. It's never someone that looks normal that has this. Hit. It's no. never someone that doesn't have two-tone hair and glasses. Yeah. <laughs> like, I want someone in khakis and a sweater going, he didn't take my testosterone. So, <laughs> you know what happens when I go number two? <laughs> Hello, mother. You know, like, wh can I get a Connecticut wasp who's right. experiencing this? That would be and amazing. maybe That's I'll kind of come to yeah. the... I'll come to the thing more. I yeah. don't know. This, That's this true. definitely is much more. It's just more. like, why does everybody who's experiencing a lot of these gender issues is also like a real nerd? Yeah. And like, they're really <laughs> into the Lord of the Rings. And it's like, right. you, are you just sick? And then <laughs> do you just want to be a hobbit or Mr. Tumnus from the but that, that, Narnia? That mm -hmm. begs the question, like, what percentage of the population are we talking about? How come we're not seeing studs? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a, a dude in a... Well, I know put real, together. Like, real transgender is people that are like, I'm a dude or I'm a chick. And then yeah. they go do something to make it so. Right. That's real. Right. People that have this other thing where they're like, oh, I don't identify as anything. It's like you identify as annoying right yeah, now. Yeah. Like, you're identifying... You ju it's just these upper middle class... They just got money. Upper middle class white women that don't want to be victims so they're kind of like well you know what i'm actually it's like a, it is an identity now. it's like when yeah. in the 90s when people were bisexual in high school yeah and then that it's like this is the version of bisexual like yeah. i'm well, not this is the version of like you know these people just you know they want to have a personality but because the internet has flattened everyone to the point where they don't have personalities they don't even know how to talk to anyone anymore right. yeah that this is their substitution for that yeah, that's, that's true, true. Yeah. that is very true yeah thank god bert's not here <laughs> and I get to chop it up with somebody that's fun to be around. Yeah. A little, a little more intellect. A little yeah. More, well, a little more cerebral. A little spelling and grammar come together, and you know, ideas. Well, flow. I appreciate that, Tim Dillon. Know, thank you very much. No, for coming. thank you for having me. And R.I.P. Bert to Corona. Yep. You know, that yep. was a that was tough. It was a it was not unexpected. I will get your graphic yeah. up real soon. Yes. I promise. it was very swift justice. It was at the yeah. COVID. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really, you can't just <laughs> deliver use booze yeah. in your body like that for yeah. decades and expect no repercussions. Yeah, COVID got in and it didn't leave. <laughs> so um, we're sad, to, but you know, listen, he leaves a beautiful I legacy. This for you today, by the way. I love the USA. USA, and it is where we live. It's where we live. Good. And I, when I think of USA, a lot of times, a few yeah. moments later, I think of Tim Dillon. Well, as you should. Yeah. As you should. I got I a polo got on. The, and it's red and blue. Well, it's this is the, the Ralph Lauren is the only uh, reputable clothing company that makes uh, clothes for bigger gentlemen. Yep. This is really what it is. Please. And uh, it's American royalty. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I try to exude. It's really kind of, I mean, have you, did you accept it? Like, I'll even sometimes try to, I'll go flog myself right. by going to a mall.
yeah. and seeing um, clothes that looks attractive that I like yeah. to go in there just to be like, so do you have anything bigger? And they're right. like, no, we don't have anything bigger no. than this. Or they'll say, this might fit you. And I'll put it on and look in the mirror and I'll be like, Jesus yeah. Christ, this is embarrassing. I can squeeze into jeans. Mm -hmm. Like I can squeeze into lucky jeans or something, especially yeah. the ones that are a little bit more forgiving. Yeah. But uh, the shirt game shirt is, and the shoulder game. I mean, all of these designer clothes are made for European, French, s small, cut, soft men, you know, cowards. Yeah. And yeah. those people are, they are dressed, you know, and as you know, when I go to Boa Steakhouse in West Hollywood and I see all these like, you know, you know the young yeah. model bullshit, you know, they all have these, the cut is just very slender, yep. very slim. Hugo Boss doesn't make shit for us, dude. No, no. Nothing. So, but I'm happy with Ralph. Yeah, Ralph says. I, a good I, job. I throw down with Ralph. Yeah, I, uh, I wish he'd throw me a couple of bucks because I've been doing. But I don't know that I'm what Ralph wants out there. <laughs> That's the other problem. Is you like, don't think so? I, I don't know if my picture is up in a room at Ralph Lauren, and they're going, "This is we want a guy in a DXL store in Palm Desert." Uh, trying on shirts and asking how much they'll shrink. That's not what we want. But guess what, Ralph Lauren? That's what you've got. You got it. That's what you've got, that, truly. Just give him the endorsement. I just mean, give me the endorsement. It's already, it's happening. Yeah. I mean, like, he's wearing it, so. Ralph Lauren is for guys like me who look a little racist. Right. <laughs> That's what a Ralph Lauren polo really is for. It's for a guy that looks like... He's a little bit on the edge of what is and is an acceptable term right. for 2020. Yeah. Like, you don't see anyone in a Ralph Lauren polo navigate the non-binary question appropriately. <laughs> Never. You know? Never. No. Oh, that's what sales is. That's what, yeah. Like, sales is just me kind of shutting up. Yep. And allowing this thing that kind of needs to happen anyway. Yes. Happen. And I'm just here for it. Right. And, and it just fits like a glove. And then sometimes you'd, you'd have to like massage it a little bit because sometimes people were very concerned about how much it costs mm -hmm. or why a sweaty, disheveled cocaine addict uh, in an uninsured Chevy Suburban was screaming at them <laughs> through the window of their home, telling them he had made an appointment with them that they didn't remember. I said, Tuesday at 11, it says it on my folder. And they're like, should we let him in the house? <laughs> And then I would go in and I'd be all, you know, get kind of cracked out. And I'd just sit there and we'd go over the numbers. Yeah. And um, sometimes it would work. And a lot of times I took that long road back uh, to the office a loser. Yeah. No. Listen, we're all heading towards a tech. Uh, it's going to be, we're, no one's going to go outside. Right. Here's the reality. Outside is over. It's done. It's on fire. It's annoying. It all outside does is fuck up the Wi-Fi for what you really want to be doing, which is inside <laughs> on your computer. True. Jerking off or arguing with your aunt about <laughs> China or whatever. <laughs> so outside's done. The natural world is really gone. We're just going to be in a tech prison that's being created. And it here's the thing about the new prison. You can't say they're not taking a lot of care. Right. They are, it, they're yeah. artfully constructing a prison that you will live in. Mm -hmm. They hear all of your thoughts. They know everything you want. Everything from your porn choices to your Grubhub orders. It's everything. All, you're going to be. So the prison's going to feel nice, but make no mistake, it's going to be a prison. The, the girl who told her mother, I'll fight you outside of Dr. Phil's show, is a star. <laughs> yeah. She's a bona fide star. She's a multi-millionaire. And she's kind of good. Yeah. So that's how sick it is. Catch me outside. How about that? Yeah, how about yeah. that? Yeah. And then you hear her rap, and you're like bopping to it. And yeah, you're, like, you're like, this is not bad. This is the catch me outside bit? That's America. America is the moment where you're outraged that she's a star, and then the next moment we go, this is kind of good. Mm-hmm. America lives in that split second. <laughs> That's where America That's lives. That's so true. Like, fuck that bit. This yeah. country is shot. Oh, this isn't bad. Not bad. And that's going to be the future. Holy. Right now, if you have not been to New York in a long time, yeah. all you hear from people are like fantasies, wild tales. I mean, if somebody asked me like, well, give me your best guess, I'd be like, well, it sounds like there's, there's uh, people jumping people in the streets and it's complete chaos yeah. and people have all left the city. I'm like, I don't know what to picture because news, you can't really trust. Like, you know, the news is so sensationalized. Right. But like you actually 
were there recently. First I was of all, there. When you went, did yeah. you have to do the 14 day quarantine or fill out a health form? I don't, can we stop? What did you do? I walk off a plane. They hand me a sheet of paper. They say, please write your name, your contact info, and your address and put it in like what looks like a suggestion box. Mm hmm. And, and then they said, just put it in there. And I, I took the paper and I wrote, uh, my name is Governor Andrew Cuomo. And, uh, and, and then I, I forgot what address I gave. I think I gave my friend's address because I wanted him to get in trouble. <laughs> and like if there was a, like I wanted the cops to go to his house. Yeah. Like, Are you threatening to kill the governor? <laughs> um, and I just put it in the suggestion box. It's, it's like everything else, fake. Uh -huh. And you get a text. I gave them my real phone number because I was kind of curious. And then they go like... Uh, they don't even look at your name. It's all automated. They weren't like, hello, Governor Cuomo. I mean, we, I wrote my name, Governor Cuomo, on the sheet. We tried to do. Yeah. They're uh, just like, recently, you have traveled to New York from a state that has a high rate of COVID-19. We are pleased re to re reminding you to quarantine. I was like, oh, this isn't even that's real. That's it? Dude, I thought someone was going to have to call me and be like, uh, hello, is this, this is Andrew Cuomo, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, um, actually, it's not. You have the wrong number. I thought it'd be fun. <laughs> um, but so it's not real And then I stayed out east I went out to the Hamptons I stayed out there Because I didn't want to stay in the city and How I was that? The videos were very funny I mean that was a real fun one That was did. very very funny But um, ha did you Had you frequented the Hamptons before? Not frequented I'd been out there once or twice But It always That also seems like a fantasy place Like not it's real It's a beautiful amazing place Well you know what it is I spoke to a few people out there And they're so detached And they're so rich Mm -hmm. And they're like, aren't the problems mainly on Twitter? And I'm like, well, cities are burning. They're like, yeah, but isn't that Twitter? Like, they don't understand that it's real life. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, there's real issues. They're like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that seems a lot of the media. And I'm <laughs> like, well, yeah, but there's some issues. They're like, cycles, cyclical. Yeah. You know, just, Anyways. you know. Um, they're out of it. Like, you, everyone forgets, like, how crazy they are, too. Sure. Like, you look at the Antifa people, you're like, okay, you're nuts. And then you look at, like, you know, the people on the far right, you're like, well, you're clearly nuts. Crazy. You're walking around a park with, yeah. with torches. Yeah. But then you forget, like, guys in polos and the Hamptons are or maybe crazier than both of them uh -huh. because those guys ignore that that even happens. Right. And then you're like, are they the sane ones? Like, right. should I just not? Should I be like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get, you know. But see, I think they live in there because. Everyone lives in their own reality, but yeah. those people, when you detach like that, yeah. maybe you are the most happy. They are, let me tell you right now, really happy. Yeah. They are really, really happy. They have beautiful families, and uh, they spend a few hours a week with them, and <laughs> you know, they check in on them. They yeah, check yeah. in. You guys all right? They check in on yeah. them, and then they go out and do whatever they want. Uh, but they're all, I mean, when your life is just about money, how simple yeah. Right. Yeah. When the only thing that you think about all day and the only thing you have to do is earn money, it actually seems much more of a simplistic thing than like what we do or what anybody creative does. Uh, because like it, it's just it, it's a binary existence. You're winning or losing. Right. You're up or down. It's kind of like a gambler. It's like it's it's a real fine line between when things are good and when things are bad and you know when things are bad and you know when things are good like so my favorite quote right mm -hmm. the guy says to me and this is the perfect quote he sits there he's uh you know he's i mean we're in this beautiful property it's like two acres and the amagant said it's it's great and he goes he's my friend's brother and I, i'm sitting there and he goes like this he goes you know he goes do you want to go back to the old world and i'm like i don't a little bit and he goes he goes i'm so happy right now the time that I get to spend with my family, he goes, it's absolutely amazing. And he goes, listen, if I have to make less money to just spend more time with my family, I'll do it. And then he takes a drink and then he goes like this and he goes, and I looked at the numbers, we're actually making more money. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's out at night. New York City used to be, and I lived there for years. Bumping, dude. Bumping. 3 a.m., I'm in, I'd be in a diner yelling at people yeah. about how fucked this business was. You know, yeah. I have been denied the <laughs> amount of bitter, <laughs> resentful bile that came out of my mouth as marinara sauce was flying out of it, mozzarella stick by, just being like, the denial, this bitch gets yeah. a special. Um, <laughs> just nasty, real horror. I wasted so much in New York. Like, I loved it, it was yeah. amazing. Yeah. But like uh, just the amount of time I spent walking around being angry yeah. and not in awe of what an amazing city it was. Like my opener, he he paints this picture of like 
it's so amazing. He's like, it's just so easy to meet girls and you're dating yeah, and yeah. you're just, you're there. You guys can go get margaritas. And I'm like, but what about the, all the hatred? Like, didn't you just walk around every day consumed with a, a darkness in you you didn't know how to get rid of? He's like, well, not really, no. He's like, I was dating. And I'm yeah. like, but what about the late nights on the roof of your building smoking a cigarette, cursing God? <laughs> because, and it, so I, but I, I love it there. I miss it a little. Never live there again uh, because me and New York have that relationship where we destroy each other. Um, I was a tour guide. I ruined people's lives. I ruined vacations that people had saved up their entire life to come to New York to just see it. And I would grab the microphone and I'd go, this city sucks and I am dying in this city. <laughs> I have nothing and everyone I know has nothing. Everyone. I said, I know some of the most talented people and they're getting nowhere. And people were like, this is really, we just want to see the Lion King. But when we went back, we're, we're driving around the city we, we finally parked the car on the Upper West Side. We get in an Uber. The Uber is a full hazmat. The guy's in a full hazmat suit. It's like 12 monkeys. Full hazmat suit. Uh, we're in a car that Jesus. is completely cellophane. Me and him are in the back. We then drive <laughs> to the... the uh, shit. Then the Uber lets us out like two blocks from our uh, Airbnb. I was like, oh, no good. We're trying to plead with the Uber. Drop us off in front. He's screaming in Mandarin. It looked like that's how Corona started. <laughs> like, if you didn't know how coronavirus started, you would think it was that. Like, two white fucks being like, drop us at our door. And the station guy's like, no, bad things are happening. You must have bought, you must. It's like the beginning of just a movie. Yeah. 